Well, I'm Bill Barnes. I was born and raised in outside Albany, New York, and moved to Colorado Springs in the 1980s. Came down here in 1989, and pretty much been here ever since. It's been semiconductors my whole career. Um, I was in the solid state electronics end of it, the failure analysis or yield enhancement um, for 20 years. And then the industry started to shift. So I've gone into the analytical chemistry side and that's been the last, oh, well, I guess eight years or so. So what's a semiconductor for the, the uh, uh, Computer chips. Okay. Yeah. I was sold the moment I walked in and talked to Maddie and I'm going on 60 years old. I've got a bad knee and I'm expecting a bunch of hardcore workout enthusiasts who aren't going to be thrilled to see an old man walk through the door. And I came through and Maddie jumped up and came over and greeted me. And I said, okay, this is, this is an environment I can uh, start to work on some of the issues I got. Uh, it took away any apprehension I had. Wow, I think when I started, squats were a ridiculously out of reach uh, notion. I do get to see a little of the, the gains that are made. Uh, and the, the way legs work into just overall health. The thing I envy the most when I watch the others work out is toes to bar. Okay. Uh, right now it's toes just off the floor. The combination of body weight and strength that this type of workout exposes so yeah, toes to bar would be, I'd be happy with toes anywhere to vertical, or to horizontal. I've told you, I married a woman that is out of my league. And every opportunity I have to, I hate to say be worthy of being with such a woman, but lessen that feeling of, what's that guy doing with her? Uh, is something I want to embrace. And at the same time, my wife and I have both had a lot of discussions on what are the next 20 years. Uh, we've both lost our fathers in the last three or four years, in their mid-80s. But we watched the decline of mobility and strength and just as simple as getting off the couch. And that's not what we want for our lives. So, um, yeah, I, I remind myself this is, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint and to keep in the game as long as you can. Yeah, I, I would love to see an older crowd in here. Not for me, but for them. This is, um, it has such a benefit. And yeah, it makes me excited to, to show up and be able to walk well the next day. I've never felt the anxiety of being out of step with those that are far more fit. Uh, there's an inclusive, positive energy here that I've been going to the gym for 40 years and I've never witnessed elsewhere. I enjoyed my group at the boot camp workout, but this is different. And, and it starts at the top and it works all the way through every member I've come across. Uh, it's, a, it's a good group. Uh, when the pandemic hit and it was kept from us for a few months. It was, it was nice to come back and see some of these faces that uh, I've never experienced in 40 years of working out. I guess I'm a little odd this way, but I, I've always been more of the slower stuff. I like Neil Young, uh, I think is one that comes to the top of my head. Uh, there was one young lady that came in. And, as a matter of fact, I think I told her one day, she was so honest and open with her story that it was, it was inspiring to, to hear such honesty. Uh, I think she'd been through some struggles earlier in life. And uh, from the sheltered life I've led, sometimes you forget the, the spectrum of humanity. That, and that's one of the things I love about here. It, it is really is a spectrum of humanity. There's a, there's a lot of really interesting people. I think I have more of a sprinter mentality than some of the long stuff. Uh, I do like looking up and 
25 minutes have passed mm -hmm. and the quick changeover has made the time fly. I think the one I, I get the most f immediate feedback for myself is deadlifts. Uh, never having done them, I spent 30 years in the gym and you're always doing bench press and you're doing arms and you're doing the upper body stuff. And to be taught properly how to do these lower body workouts is phenomenal. Uh, there's, in deadlifts, I always leave feeling my back is so much better off for it. I never wear my glasses in, so I can never read the board. <laughs> and, I, I feel any, and I feel an anxiety when, you know, it's, yeah, which, which one again are we on? Um, that's why I like working out with Jess. Uh, I look over at her, I go lower weight, and I can kind of follow along. 